Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Rex TV. Today, I want to talk about the recent events surrounding the return of President Emerson Nangogwa to Zimbabwe the middle of the night from his trip to Rwanda. This unexpected return has sparked rumours and speculation about the state of affairs within the ruling party and the government. Many are speculating that Nangogwa's hasty return was driven by fears of a potential coup orchestrated by his deputy, Vice President Constantino Chiwenga, and the military. Reports suggest that there has been growing tension between Nangogwa and Chiwenga, stemming from political power struggles and disagreements within the ruling ZANU-PF party. Nangogwa's sudden return from Rwanda, in the middle of the night, further fueled these speculations and raised concerns about the stability of the country's leadership. Some analysts believe that the president's abrupt return was a strategic move to outmaneuver potential threats and shore up his position of power. The timing of these events is crucial, as Zimbabwe is already facing multiple challenges, including an economic crisis, widespread protests, and a deteriorating human rights situation the prospect of political infighting and potential military intervention only adds to the uncertainty and instability in the country. This situation is certainly unsettling, and the people of Zimbabwe are understandably worried about what the future holds. It's crucial for the government and the ruling party to address these concerns and reassure the public that the country's leadership is united and working in the best interests of the nation. As the situation continues to unfold, it's essential to closely monitor the developments and ensure that power struggles do not escalate into a full-blown crisis. The international community also has a role to play in supporting efforts to promote dialogue, foster political stability and address the underlying issues facing Zimbabwe. I will continue to keep a close eye on this story and provide updates as new information becomes available. In the meantime, I encourage everyone to stay informed and engaged in the ongoing developments in Zimbabwe. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on this and other important issues. Let's keep our eyes on Zimbabwe and hope for a peaceful and stable resolution to the current challenges. Until next time, take care.